That's where the body mount to the frame should be. It is pretty much uh, totally gone. By doing work like that, it is quite uh, important not to trash and bend up this stuff too much because you can use it as a template, however rough it might look. So I, re I removed this uh, body mount bolt here. There was nothing left of the body mount other than a huge chunk of rust. So I'm gonna next uh, fabricate new body mount for here. So I made a template of that. I got out two. This is uh, for now. Later on, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need two more on that side as well. Those I'm gonna have to do manually on the vice. Now I can weld that plate on here. turned out to be just right. The primer has dried now, let's remove the tapes. And I will weld it in. Got this all welded. I can line that up. Yep, that's perfect. So now we have a foundation to start building on. First of all I will think, but then I'm gonna cut part of this floor out here. This piece is all one 
it comes like now I can paint this so let's do this I got the part bent up pretty nice and exact. Now I'm gonna temporarily attach it on here to see, uh, make sure everything is straight as it should be. And then I can mark where I need to cut. I need to put some ultra primer underneath those where those brackets will be welded and I mark my cut lines got this part primer which will be kind of uh, hidden later so from underneath those tabs everything needs to be nicely protected guys and now we can push this into its position. So, next I can weld it in. Nicely cleaned and primer were necessary. Got that piece all welded in as well. That piece in place, also welded here a piece and now I'm gonna mm, fabricate that piece here and weld it in. Penetration is very nice. I was lucky, this part here is totally fine, so I don't need to start messing with the body mount here. So now I'm gonna make this part here and then we can weld it in. Cut and bent this piece and now I can weld it in here.
So check it out guys, how easy it is to make a template. It was just a little bit of cutting and, and now we have it. I am not gonna do that hole because that again is part of the reason why this piece rusts away. And now it's just a case of cutting this out. That one well did in. So we got a little bit rust here as well. So nicely welded in. Even got that part welded from the inside. Let's get it also spot welded in from here. Now I'm in the process of making that big rocker panel part here. Now I'm going to weld in that piece, it goes here, I'm going to cut this slip after I've welded it. Now I can weld that piece back in. That I did not make, this is original piece, I just needed to remove it to get access to the floor area, cleaned the rust part of here, the rest of the floor, and now I can weld it back in. Now I'm fabricating that part.
next I can fabricate this piece that I'm gonna put here. Got that welded in. And next I'm gonna cut this rod off here. Now I have all the edges cleaned up, both outside and inside. Inside was slightly tricky, but was not that bad as, as I was expecting it to be. So next, let's make a patch panel for here. I made some relief cuts here and now, now I can bend it. I'm gonna massage this a little more then I can weld small pieces where I made those cuts and make those all nice and fresh and uh, we will go from there. So got those this floor piece all fabricated Put some weld through primer on where necessary and there is also a strengthener piece that goes here. That one I salvaged from the original floor piece. Just cleaned it up and also put some weld through primer inside there. That will go here. But before I put that in place <clears throat> I'm gonna put some paint on the frame rails here and while I'm at it I'm gonna also paint the part of frame that I have already repaired. It's so satisfying. When you get to paint mm. parts that you have already fixed. Try to get paint nicely everywhere.
the roller actually leaves a very nice finisse, I find. Trailed here all around. I'm gonna tuck it in and uh, go from there. Oh right, put this panel all welded in. Very nice. Now I can install the seatbelt mounting bracket underneath here. That one is in now, the seat, seat belt mount bracket. And next time we're gonna deal with this rut here. So we got this all fixed up. So I'm gonna continue with that fix later, but now I'm gonna uh, remove this panel here to get access to the back of it and there is a mess going on on that body mount so, so I could get access to fixing that, I need to remove this, so I'm gonna do that next.